Hey there, it's Daniel from thegoodocs.com where you can get free Google Docs templates and guides. In this video, we get and then customize the resume template for Google Docs. First up, make sure you are signed into your Google account. The simplest way to check that is to go to google.com. And on the Google homepage, at the top right corner, check if there's your profile picture or an icon with a person if you don't have it. This means you are signed in and you can skip this part. If not, you will have this sign in button, so press on it. Here, enter either your email address or a phone number linked to the account. I'm using my email. And then press next over here. Now on this page, enter your password. And next over here. You will be redirected back to the Google homepage and here you are signed in that you can always check by looking at the top right corner here. And if there's your profile picture or an icon with a person, you're good to go. From the Google homepage, you can search for templates with a query like Google Docs Resume Templates Free. Or you go to some particular website with resume templates like the Google Docs Free Templates and enter. Scrolling down, locate in the GooDocs.com and pressing on it. And we're on the homepage. Now let's get ourselves some. Go to the templates on top to unfold the drop-down and here drag the pointer to the personal column. And the last item here is resume. On this page, there's basically thousands of different resume templates, all free for you, so pick whichever you like and use it absolutely free of charge. And as you can see, there's a few formats here. And to get exactly the Docs template, let's filter them in this drop-down and select Google Docs. Now, pick the one you like out of these. I personally like simple ones. And in my case, it's this basic job resume. So, once you've found what you like, click on its image. And now, on this page on the left, you can preview the template. And if you like it, go to the page top and next to the preview image, locate and hit this red button with Edit Template on it. Here you choose the suitable format. It's the US letter, which is measured 8.5 by 11 inches and the A4, which is 8.3 by 11.7 inches. I'm going with A4. On this next page, wait till the download starts, which will be done automatically. And on the next window, Google Drive will ask you if you want to copy the template to your drive. So yes, to use it, press make a copy and wait a bit. And it will open in front of you as a common Google Docs document. But now it is yours, located on your drive. You can edit it and all changes will be automatically saved on yours drive. Now let's do something with it. So, what you can do to your template? Personalize it. I'll start from the photo. I'll click on it and delete it. Now, I'll insert my own by going to Insert on the toolbar, then Image and Upload from Computer, though you can choose another option. Locating the image, selecting it and inserting into the template. Here it is. Then, you may want to change its size to make it fit better by pulling these squares around the photo inside or out. And here we go. Then, it's the name, clearing this line and entering my name. Now on the right, there's a desired position title that we clear as well and enter your position. And then some items may go off their place, so just clear some empty space in front of it. Email and phone number. And then your information, the education, where you clear the placeholder text and enter your institution data, degree and etc. And clear some extra lines if you don't need it. The same concerning the work experience, where you enter the company. Your position there. And then some description about your responsibilities at that place. And keep going. 
Now for the social item, we'll do something more interesting. We're going to clear these and then insert links to your profiles instead. Let's say I want to show my Facebook profile, so I will type in Facebook. Then I'll get a link to my profile. Highlight the text and now click on this item on the toolbar. Paste a link into this field and hit Apply. Text turned blue and got underlined, indicating that it contains a link. And if you click on the text, here's this link, and I can go to its source. The same concern in the next line for social profile. And then your individual projects, where you can insert a logo of that platform and paste a link the same way we did earlier. The same with skills, and you may want to add one more position, and I'd say the best way to do that is by copying this line. Then click on the end of the line and hit enter three times to create new lines below. And then paste the data, press on the start of the line and hit space a few times to move the text and make it stand in accordance with the lines above. Languages, hobbies, and uh, you got it. And then it's a cover letter on the next page. Nothing new here. Your name, position name, links to your profiles and portfolio. Specify the receiver here and the date here. Now clear this dummy text and write your brilliant cover letter to describe why you are a perfect fit for the position and impress your future employer. And for the signature, clear the name. And insert one if you have it or create one right here inside document. Fortunately, Google Docs offers such a feature. Go to the Insert on the toolbar, then the third drawing, and then you. On this drawing canvas, you basically draw the signature by hand. For that, click on this little triangle near this line and select the last scribble, which is what it sounds like, meant for free drawing by hand that we use to draw a signature. Now go on and draw one on the canvas. And then you may want to customize it with these tools on the toolbar, like making it thicker. And when you're done, hit save and close at the top right corner. It's a bit too large now, so I'll just decrease it with the squares on its frame. And it's good, here you have it. Hundreds more guides and a lot of free Google Docs templates on thegoodax.com following the link below the video. Like to help share our videos to more people and subscribe to see more guides. I hope we helped you. Thank you for watching.